the point is that the New York Knicks have not had a legitimate general manager search where they look outside the organization with someone that has experience in basketball operations since Donnie Walsh. Walsh is fired. Grunwald is hired. Interim hire. Grunwald's fired. Promoted Steve Mills has no experience as an executive. Mills fired. Phil Jackson brought in. No experience as an executive. Jackson fired. Mills, who failed, put back in. Mills fired. Scott Perry is hired as his wingman, but he's not the man in charge. And then they're cleared out for Leon Rose, who was an agent and has absolutely no connection to NBA front offices, minus being a free agent. The Knicks have a bunch of resources as an organization. Why have they not put 10 to $20 million and go to R.C. Bruford or go to Scott Pressy, go to one of these leading executives in the league with, with experience and a track record and recruit them to New York? Why do the Knicks consistently hire individuals who have no experience or their internal hires that are part of the problem to begin with. We have no competent management over a decade, and it's the same pattern over and over again. What's the definition of insanity? Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. You have the most resources in terms of finances. Get a top-level executive with experience and a track record. This guy's dropping balls. Seth BK going in right now with the flamethrower. I like that call. That's a that's a five star call tonight. All facts too. Yep. Yep. Right, yeah. Throw, throw five in chat tonight for for for, uh, for Seth, man. That was a great call. And go goes back to the man at the top. <laughs> so far, the not man, man. again hiring the wrong people. So far, you know, this is year three going for Leon. Not looking good. You know, I've I've been I I'm a guy. I stay patient with a lot of things. When they draft these kids, I wait, I evaluate, you know, I give them a chance. I always look at the potential. I start up my hives and everything. I was a high for every single play on this team until they prove me wrong. Same thing with the front offices. I give them a chance. But so far, you know, so far with Leon, I mean, it's, it's just not looking good, man. I truly believe, and I'm probably going to get called crazy, but I truly believe if this team – actually committed to the rebuild i bet you this front office would be a lot better than what they are because it just seems like they make the moves they might make this the right decisions but then they don't go all the way in on what they should continue to do it's like like last year is a perfect example moving back when a guy that they want in quentin grimes is available move back get him but also get another piece but then the season begins and these guys aren't really getting the minutes until the end of the season and you see when they play how well that they do end up playing on the floor if they just got some minutes. So I, I, I like I said, I know I'm gonna get killed for that, but I, I really feel, and it all goes back to just sitting in the middle. And I think that that is ultimately becoming our demise with this front office. I think if they just committed to the rebuild, I think yeah. we'd be having a different kind of conversation. Not saying we'd have Jay Nive or nothing like that, but I think we'd be having a different conversation. 